All right, so welcome back to another unboxing video. So I'll be unboxing Planet from Blue Orange Games. Now, I already did a how to play video on this a while back, a long time ago, in fact. It was one of the first videos I actually did way, way back. So, um, which, which would be about a year, I suppose. So if you wanna, you know, see how this game works, just go back and find uh, that uh, how to play video you know, planet how to play, and uh, see how it works for yourself. But this is an unboxing video, so let's look at see what's inside. Maybe perhaps you didn't watch my how to play video. Maybe you haven't seen this game from the inside out. So let's take a look and see what we have in here, even though I know exactly what's in this game. Well, we got the rules here in several different languages. English and another language and I think this is French I think so we have the rules in three different languages so which is really cool that you can you know get this game in three different languages that's really cool awesome all right what else do we have in here looks like some of the components came out so let's see here we have these magnets they're going to go on to the planet cores. These are the planet cores, okay? So you're going to put the magnets onto these planet cores. And you're going to be basically building your own planet, basically, if you will. Which is a really cool thing, right? That's a really cool aspect of the game. Everyone is going to have fun just trying to build their own little planets, if you will. And there's a lot of magnets here, so, you know... You'll be doing this with a lot of different types of uh, habitats, okay? And then, you know, you're going to be obviously trying to build your world, your little planets, if you will. But you're also going to be trying to obtain animals as well. So let's open up this. There we go. And so here we have the cards that come with the game. All these are the habitat cards. They're going to tell you how many, obviously, um, points you're going to get. Uh, you have to have a certain amount of magnets. And then if you have, like, 18 water, you're going to get two points and so on. Or I think it might be the other way around. Maybe if you have 10 water, you're going to get 30 points. I'm not sure. I forget exactly 100% uh, which one it is point-wise. Um, let's actually, let's look at the rule book. Let me just double check that for scoring. Um, so each natural habitat objective card can bring you points at the end of the game. For the total areas of this natural habitat present on your planet. For example, you would need 11, 12, or 13 areas of the glacier natural habitat at the end of the game in order to score two points. So I was right. You need to have that huge amount of numbered uh, habitat of that particular habitat in order to score points. So yes, I was right about it. The cards, meaning if you just simply want to get a couple of points... You're going for water. You're going to have to have 18 water in your on your planet core. So 18 triangles with water, just to score two points. So obviously, if you're trying to get one particular habitat, you might manage to get it up to 10, but then that means you'll be sorely sorely lacking in the other habitats. And then if you're sorely lacking in the other habitats, then yeah, you might be able to easily get the whale, but you're gonna have a hard time getting the panda, for instance, and all the other animals in the game. And you're not going to play with every single animal in each game, so each time you play, you're going to have different animals, and it'll probably take you a few games before you have played with all of the animals that come with the game. So we have the whale, and the giant panda, and the cobra, and the bald eagle, and the polar bear, and some sort of fish, I think maybe a flounder or something like that. And then this, the green sea turtle, 
and then a nice octopus and a orca and some deer and the Bengal tiger at least I think it's a Bengal tiger and the brown bear and the red fox and the giraffe camel elephant meerkat wolf yak or bison or something uh, I think this is a condor I think it could be a vulture one or the other I'm not sure which and then I think that's a, an ibex or a markhor or something and then we have a walrus and an arctic fox and a penguin and uh, I think this is an ermine or a weasel which you would be probably more familiar with a weasel jellyfish seahorse uh, shark clownfish barn owl uh, this is a European badger the American badger looks a little different raccoon squirrel um, impala I think or it could be a gazelle coyote uh, fennec fox or a uh, yeah, I think that is a fennec fox. So this game has three foxes in it. What are the chances? Scorpion, llama, uh, I want to say either a prairie dog or a groundhog or something like that. Um, this is, uh, I think this is the vulture and the other one was the condor. So I think this is the vulture and the other one, one was definitely the condor. Bighorn sheep. A narwhal, also known as the unicorn of the ocean. <clears throat> Caribou, or reindeer, whichever you, however uh, you want, whatever name you call it. Uh, uh, let's see, this is a lynx, and I think this is a harp seal. So that's all of the animals that come in this game. And I think there's even an expansion that can add even more animals to the game. Although they're not, I don't think they're realistic animals. I think they're more like mythical animals or something like an actual unicorn for instance. But yeah, that's all of the different animals in the game that you'll have. And then of course you'll have this first player token and then everything else in this box are these four planet cores and all of these magnets. So that's everything in this game. So pretty easy to put together, pretty easy to uh, put away for sure because they're all because all the magnets are going to go in here. Planet cores are going to go there, and then you'll put the cards into these locations there. So that's basically the unboxing video for Planet. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked this uh, video, please leave a like. Bye.